So this study just found out that carnivores live up to 7 years longer. And by study, I mean this random YouTube comment anecdote from Lauren. And by the quantifiable measurement of 7 years, I instead mean the quote of my friends are absolutely growing. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I triggered you. But let's find out what the science really says about the carnivore diet. Here's the thing, everyone can find the data about nutrition by going to sci-hub.tw, downloading the Chrome extension and typing in carnivore diet. Usually, if the study has more citations, it's generally better. The more citations, the more scientists have generally proved of the findings. Oh, here's one with 429 citations. Comparison and qualification of carnivore diet by fecal analysis. The analysis of sh based on the study of the red fox. Oh, interesting data. Let's try it with all meat diet. Here's one with 665 citations. By using an integrated assessment model, we found a global food transition to less meat or even a complete switch to plant-based protein food to have a dramatic effect on land use. Up to 2,700 million hectare meters of pasture and 100 million hectare meters of cropland could be abandoned, resulting in a large carbon uptake from regrowing vegetation. Additionally, methane and nitrous oxide emission would be reduced substantially. Concluding with, dietary changes could therefore not only create substantial benefits for human health and global land use, but can also play an important role in future climate change mitigation policies. Or here another one with 215 citations. Meat consumption is associated with obesity and central obesity among US adults. <laughs> Interesting! This lack of data, so to speak, or even the data showing that the carnivore diet is not optimal for our health or for the world's climate is also the reason why you haven't seen a single video from Michael Greger addressing the topic. It's just ridiculous. It's crazy. It's like the anti-diet, right? It's just like, if there's one thing that there's like the most uncontroversial thing in all of nutrition science is eat more fruits and vegetables, right? I mean, like, right. like nobody disagree. I mean, nobody. Yep. Okay, because it makes absolutely no sense. And Michael, with his data-focused brain, thinks that no one in insane mind would follow such a restrictive diet. Apparently, they do, but our two-minute research protocol has shown that they probably shouldn't. Carnivores do not live 7 years longer because there's not a single scientist crazy enough to write the study yet. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.